Aloha. Aloha. Uh, what a beautiful day. Um, the, the cemetery looks absolutely gorgeous. I'd like to uh, give a round of applause to all that, that, um, that helped put this thing together. The VFW, the uh, Ladies Auxiliary, uh, the Boy Scouts, uh, JROTC. Um, just a fantastic uh, job putting this thing together. So I'd like to give them a round of applause, please. There are about 25 million living American veterans today. And since General Washington commanded the, the Continental Army, 42 million Americans have served the colors. A million more have been killed in its defense, and another million and a half wounded. These are small numbers compared to the billions across the planet, and billions yet still unborn that live free because Americans have fought and died for their freedom. Memorial Day was established by presidential decree on the 5th of May, 1868, and first observed later that month on the 30th when all the graves at Arlington National Cemetery were decorated with flowers and flags. Through the years, Memorial Day continued to mean visiting and decorating graves or town square memorials to those who died serving our great nation and celebrating with parades and civic events. Americans in the past kept the day quiet, pausing to remember, at least for a little while, the kind of men and women that so willingly gave that last full measure. When I was growing up, I felt in awe of my grandfather's generation. Guadalcanal, Sicily, Tarawa, Salerno, Iwo Jima, Normandy, those places were real to them. They lived it. Then came my father's generation, trudging through the jungles of Vietnam. It was a bit different then. We removed our hats during the national anthem. We said the Pledge of Allegiance before school, and it didn't offend anyone's sens sensitivities or seen as trampling on the rights of anyone else. Memorial Day was a day to remember our heroes with the day of reverence to repay the debt that we could truly never repay. We live in a different time today. And people have indeed lost something of quality over the years. We don't always see that same selfless devotion to something bigger than ourselves. Memorial Day today is, is more about a day to take advantage of the big sales at the malls or fighting the traffic to, to uh, get to the beach for a long weekend. But we should be ashamed of ourselves if we forget that as we enjoy the long weekend, that we are again at war today, and a new generation can, continues to fight and win. against an enemy on our behalf in Afghanistan and other locations around the, around the globe. And in contrast, my grandfather and father's generations where nearly everyone had family that served, only about 1% of Americans served today. But I can say with confidence that Americans will always stand for what is right. I brought my son Bo here today. And when I look at him, I know that his generation will carry on that tradition too. Nope, they'll carry on that American legacy forward just as his father and grandfather had done as well. Why? Because we love America and are willing to die for freedom in our way of life.
Memorial Day is not as much for our families of the fallen, or for us who have been to combat and endured losses. We remember those guys every day. Memorial Day is for the rest of the nation's citizens to remember and say thank you to those that have fallen and given so much to all of us. Yeah, thanks. May all of our fallen rest peacefully. May we who love them find peace and understanding in their sacrifice. And that the America that they so loved and protected and gave their lives for it is forever worthy. We will never forget you. God bless America. I love America. Thank you.